All right, playing Polymorph. So, no, I don't hate this hand. We need to, we got we got a mutant vault and a polymorph and an inquisition. We can try this out. All right. Well, not Mulligan. Sixty-one card special. Oh, he noticed. We I didn't even notice. The 61st card is the extra Emrakul. Emrakul story, bro. Alright, let's see what we can... What we can wrangle up. I think we keep that. Yeah, it seems good. I know. This deck needs some Sea Beyond. I, I do like a Sea Beyond. Oh, good, another Tron deck. It might even be better than Telling Time. What do you think? Like um... That? Hard to say. I feel like we take this talisman, or like take if we take talisman, like he has to hit an artifact for these two. Um, I don't hate that. Taking one like, thirst doesn't repeal seem doesn't do anything, unless we have a bitter blossom in play. Then it does a lot, but we don't. So it doesn't really do a so lot. I, so I don't think it's repeal, and he already has two thirst. So yeah, I, I think taking talisman's okay. Keeps him off color too. I don't hate it. Off black, if he oh, we'll definitely keep that. If we knew we were drawing that, I know. Yeah, maybe we should have played that first. Well, we get, well, I mean, like, we can still hit the Thirsts. What's the difference? Oh, because we could have hit both Thirsts? Yes. Because, like, he couldn't Thirst this turn. Alright, so he has Island, PP, Thirst, Repeal. Alright, so we just take thirst. one Thirst here. Yeah, that seems fine. And we could go off as soon as, like, two turns from now, because he has no... Uh, resistance really so the reason why i actually think see beyond is better than telling time is because usually there's a lot of stuff you want to shuffle back into your deck first of all and second if the three cards are bad you're forced to draw one and that's pretty bad like you have to lose a draw step to draw one of the telling time to draw one of the bad cards you know what i mean yeah river of tears is real sad here actually it's kind of like being brainstorm locked Wait, why is it sad? Because he gets to thirst and we can't cryptic command it. Uh, oh, you mean? Oh, yeah, sure, you're right. Um, it's also like real sad because it's tears. It's like he's crying. Okay, you're right. That is real sad. I didn't even think about that. Oh, he had to discard two cards for it though, so it was it was broke even. So we saw it. We don't know if he has an island or a power plant or a thirst. We know he has a repeal. That guy is getting countered. Yes, for sure. Uh, we're countering it. We'll draw. Because we can actually go off if we can find one land. And we're going off. Bloop! Despite the sad river of tears, we were still able to get an Emrakul in to play this game. This is a happy river of tears! <laughs> Your move, buddy. He can. I hate. I hate when I like look at milled everything but nine cards, so he can literally like look at almost our whole deck. Yeah, that's that's like the. Uh, that's life. Yeah, that's life. That's like the danger of playing polymorph. That's Emrakul life. Kind of like playing Oath of Druids. It's like you know reveal your entire deck, and then get a guy. But usually you win, so I guess that's good. Yeah. All right. So again, the gates can come in. Damnations can come out. And I guess we just need to bring in the Memora side because we just don't really have any better options. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that, so. Now I'm sure that there was a reason why the scepters are in this deck. I don't know what they are though. I don't really It's just there's not that many. That there's much. like two there's like two instants that you can actually copy. Telling time, mana leak. Like I guess I guess uh, they're just a little bit better after Cyborg because, like, against the aggro decks, you can put under there a um, smother, and against control decks, you have the gate or a mana leak, so um, you have more options. We're definitely keeping this hand. Yeah, for sure. So, and he went to six. <coughs> now this deck top four to premier event. Yeah, that's where I found it. Wow. Uh, bottom. Yeah, we don't need any more lands right now. 
Okay, so it looks like we're on. He's he's on he's on course for the turn three Karn. That's nice. Yep. See if we can nab that. He All has right. no colored sources, so he's actually on course for the solemn simulacrum to get a blue. Well, that guy's get coming down. Condescend, fabricate, and then mine, mine. See you later, solemn. Yeah, well, that was, like, a really important thought seize. Yeah, otherwise he just kills us. It turned off his whole hand unless he top decks a blue, but he did not. A bluezel? A bluezel. A bluezel berry. Those are the most delicious of the berries. Do you think we just thought seize again? Um, to get counters out of his hand? Or, like, maybe... Well, he doesn't have a counter, so I don't know. Oh, he has condescend. condescend. Yeah, you're but right. We might not care about condescend. We might care more about, um... Let's see what else he drew. About the, uh, fabricate, because that can get anything if he draws a blue source. He also needs an artifact, right? No, or does that fabricate, search for an yeah, fabricate just searches for an artifact. I get all those cards confused. All the like tinker, fabricate, the three mana search for an artifact, get an artifact, sack an artifact spells. Like trash for treasure, is that another one? I don't know. That's, that's a card. A, that's a red one. Trash oh, for treasure is kind of like a tinker. remand. Ooh. Alright, so we have to just not care about the counters. We can also Teleria West for a Buseju. So maybe we just take fabricate here, and then like next turn we can transmute for Buseju. All right, so we're taking out, we're taking fabricate. You think? I really think so. Do you? That's fine. All right, so now we can still tell time. Man, it's really too bad that you can only transmute as a sorcery. Right. Well, the thing was too. Well, the thing was too powerful. If you could do it like any time. Uh, remand. Let's see the other it seems pretty powerful because like we could just keep counterman up, and then if he has nothing, we just transmute. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Can't do anything about that. Yep, that's fine. I mean, it's not great. But now we know his hand is only counters. So I think we definitely transmute for the um for the thing, the Tler uh the Buseju. Do we telling time here or do we let him go blue first? I would telling time. Because we're gonna get Buseju. No, I was wondering if we waited until the end of the turn to see if you wanted to do anything. Um, well, I think he needs to scry and, and remand, so I, I think we definitely don't want to play into that. Put this in our hand. Yep. I'll put this on top, remember, more side on bottom. Alright, yeah, I like that. So now we can actually, uh, we can play this, and we can Inquisition and uh, Teleria West. Yeah. And, like, another good thing about this Inquisition is he can't remand or condescend it profitably. So we know he has Condescend, Mine, and Remand. We know his entire hand. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, wait, he can Condescend this. Uh, do we play Island first? So we can't Condescend it? Yes, we're going to do that anyway, so we might as well. And if he wants to Condescend it, I'll pay and we can take the Remand, so... Yeah, he'll never Condescend it now. He might Remand just to cycle... Because the odds of him drawing either a land or, like, something bigger than three are not that bad. Interesting. Yeah, so we'll just take the remand out of his hand. He does get to scry, though. Yes. Which is actually kind of scary. Yeah, it is actually pretty scary. Because he put, especially when he puts one on top. Oh, great. Uh-oh. Well, got a remand out of it. So we know he has a mine in hand. So now we can play the the tar pit now. No, we played we played the island this oh, time. Oh, you're right. We don't right. get to play two lands okay, per turn. That. I don't know how they do things where you're from. They don't do anything where I'm oh. from. Oh, well, that's interesting. He kept one on top, but had nothing to play. Well, like we can polymorph this turn, so we probably kept an answer to polymorph, like another counter or something. So I'm wondering if we yeah, let's transmute then. Hmm. So many colorless lands. He had nothing to play there, so he can have a mine. So, all right. No idea what you have in hand now. One, two, 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 two. Let's see what's on the top. Oh, I'll definitely. I always keep that. Yeah, we can just keep all the cryptic commands and have them not be countered. He said, "Good game." Really? Well, I mean, we have both sages, so like it's only a matter of time. Okay. 
I am alive. <laughs> oh, Wormcoil? Yeah. No, that guy's getting countered. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm alive. Not that far along. So we're going to draw another Cryptic Command off that. That's pretty solid. Whoa, what are you doing here? Maybe he wants to scry. He's going to oh. reman the worm coil. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Solid okay. play. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, now we don't get to draw a card. And he does. So it's actually pretty sweet. And he gets to, and then one card he drew was a land. A tower, so that's perfect. Yeah, well, we knew that we had Cryptic on top. Right, I know. What's so, your point? Um, so, like, we can um, actually see the next four cards in our deck if we go, like, bounce and draw, and then telling time. I don't and think we have any reason to bounce. We can just take a hit from this guy. Yeah, you're right. I'd rather telling time and then see what he see what he does. If he does nothing, then we can just keep Cryptic Command up for, like, when we actually need it. Okay. Um, definitely going to play this. And he has no cards in hand, so... So an end of turn bounce and draw is better. Yeah. What happens if you draw the Emrakul? I mean, is it an all-in on Polymorph? Two copies. We also have Bitter Blossom, Creeping Tar Pit, and Mutable. It's like, it's not as easy to win, obviously, with those things. Um... But it is possible, so. All right, go to eight. Let's tell time. Uh, Mutable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want any of these. But that's why telling time is not good sometimes. Uh, it's hard to put in your hand. We can keep Tulare West Transmute for a Pact of Negation. Uh, bottom. All right, we're gonna bounce this guy. Are we paying two? Yeah. All right, I like it. No, there's no reason to. I mean, I I don't I don't want to assume the one card he drew. Oh, is a actually, we have to pay two because uh, oh, because it's only land. have four lands. Yeah, you're right. We can also get in there with Mutavolt and just start beating down. Yeah, he's a twenty-six. I don't think we have that kind of a that kind of a, a clock on our. Come on, Polymorph. All right, Mutavolt. <clears throat> we might just want to go for a Pact of Negation here, actually. Yeah, for sure. And now we can start beating down. This is a land creature dash. You're right. This should just call it a shapeshifter. It actually has all the, the creature types in there, but it wouldn't fit on the screen. So, so they, they just, just like, they just took it out. Yeah. Land creature dash. That's right. Is it technically like a changeling or no? It's not, is it? It should say changeling, that's what it is. Wait, is the ability changeling or is the ability shapeshifter? Uh well the creature type changeling is a shapeshifter. Okay, like so the ability is, is shapeshifter. Shape no, I think the ability is changeling and the creature type is shapeshifter. Because like I think changelings are creature type shapeshifter, but they're called changeling. Like woodland changeling, uh blah 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 changeling, other changeling. Remand. No. Well, now we can not we don't have to pay the mana. I guess there's that. I mean, there wasn't anything we could even do about that. No. All we can do is draw can, polymorph right now. We can. We have like infinite blockers. Yep. <laughs> That's not one of them. <coughs> right, we do have a lot of blockers. Do you think we begin by blo by blocking with creeping tar pit because it's, because it's, it's more cheap. expensive to activate? Um. I don't know. 
Is there a land he can get that we actually care about? Yeah, I have Ugin. Academy Ruins is also kind of scary. A Boro. What does that do? That's real interesting. I don't actually know why. Does that do anything? I can't tell. It bounces, that's it. I guess this deck doesn't play Ayabugan. No, this doesn't seem like the, the Eldrazi deck. Like, I mean, there's... Give it Trample. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that Alboro. That's a weird pick. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm, like, pretty confused by it. Can Emrakul even win us the game through a Worm Coil? Like, couldn't he just sack the Worm Coil and crack back for... I guess we have blockers, but it's not going to be... Yeah, one, two, I mean, he still has to sack five other lands. Five, six, seven, eight lands, so he keeps two. Like, he keeps three, he can keep... Tr okay, now that's pretty much game. I can't imagine a world where that's going to... Where we're going to actually fight through that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, actually it had nothing coming up, so... Eh, what can you do? I think we actually just bring in Memora side because like now we know to hit Worm Coil engines and stuff. Okay, what do we take out then? Um, what can come out? What's actually good? Not much. Maybe like one Mana Leak. Okay, they're pretty dead late in the game, so I, I can. We'll see take that. one. We'll just add one more Memora side. All right, yeah, I think that's pretty. All fair. right, and we will play first. Um, jeez. This hand means lands real bad. Yeah, I'm not even sure if we should keep this. I think if, we have to ship it. If one of the cards was Telling Time, we auto keep it. Oh yeah. But we have too many dead cards in this hand. Oh, that's that's a much better hand. Yes. And we can actually we'll have to start with uh, Teleria West yes. here. And the Buseju is actually real good. Okay, well, that's a thing. Yeah, we should probably cast that, and we can tell him time later. Because, like, Inquisition early is real good because it just shuts off his development, like... Alright, the, the, the old double condescend uh, hand. Well. So we have Mine Island Condescend Solemn Slaver Trinket. Alright, so we have two choices, Condescend and Treasure Mage. Um, I think it might be Treasure Mage. I don't know if we care about Condescend when we have Beseju. You're probably right. Yeah, let's take Treasure Mage. Yeah, you know what? You're actually right. We just need, like, one Mutavault to, um, be able to cast this Polymorph. Or an island, or a Dark Slick Shores. Oh, I was thinking, uh, to cast Telling Time. Like, you can condescend for one. So do you think we cast I think we it just right tell now? Yeah, I think we cast it now. Alright. And if we draw a... No, we're not going to draw a discard spell, I guess. If he plays Treasure Mage, we can Memoricide him. So oh, he's going to... He condescends this for one, and we pay. He just really wants to scry. Yeah, but scrying is real good. Scry 2 is huge. They don't let you scry 2 anymore. It's all scry 1. Yeah, just like Magma Jet and like some other stuff. And the, the Sphinx. Um. Oh, wow. Alright, this isn't pretty much what we wanted. So we definitely... You know, like, it's a shame because we actually want to keep all of these cards. Yeah, we do. Um, and we need the Creeping Tarp. No, we don't need the Creeping Tarpet, actually. Yeah, maybe we ship the Creeping Tarpet. Choose a card to put in your hand. We also don't really need Cryptic Command because we have Besaju. So, because if he goes Treasure Mage, we... He, he, we took the Treasure Mage. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. Then actually this Bitter Block we're going to have a hard time resolving. Well, next turn we're going to... Oh, yeah. Well... We still need it. I think we still need it. For... Yeah, we definitely still need it, for sure. All right, we're going to keep the Bitter Blossom and the Creeping Tarpet, I think. Okay. Man, I've never I've never de declined a, yeah, uh, a actually, Cryptic Command before. It's actually real weird. Cryptic Command, I don't want to. He also could tap out for like a... No, he didn't. For yeah, like so, a nerd. Uh, maybe we just go besage you here and pass. He'll probably go Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, if he does, then it's real good for us. Then we uh, can resolve Bitter Blossom, or it might be better to resolve Memoricide. Oh, Thirst for Knowledge. Okay. 
So we know he has Mind Slaver, Solemn, Condescend, and No Mind. Get rid of Talisman, alright. Yeah, we just gotta play this Bitter Blossom, right? If he taps out for Solemn? Yeah, we have no other uh, ways to activate a Polymorph. Repeal's real good, though. Yeah, actually, we might want to actually um, Memoir aside for Mind Slaver. On, on the other hand... Oh, yeah, we... Yeah, we have to. Yeah, yeah we, otherwise we definitely have to. Mind Slaver this. And he did not play... Interesting. Oh, he's going to, he wants to condescend for two. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, we have Memoir aside, so... Oh, well... Oh, now we don't need the other thing. Can we just go off now? What if he mind slavers us? What's it? How's he gonna get rid of Emrakul? I don't actually know. He, um, he, he can't activate mind slaver at 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He could. Hmm. So we know he has Condescend, Solemn, and Mind Slaver in hand. So we get an Emrakul into play. What can he possibly do to Emrakul? He can't target it with any of the spells in our deck. No, he can't. He can O stone it. Which I don't know if we've seen. I don't remember if if uh, this was the guy that had the oath stone. Um, I think we just try. Otherwise, we're giving him a lot of time, and we have to play around a lot of stuff. We have to play around condescend. We also have to play around mind slaver. Well, we never have to play around condescend because we've besaged you. Right. And we could like plan B is the more aside the mind slaver. We should maybe just go for it. That's what I'm saying. All right. That's what I'm saying. And he can't repeal it, so... No, he can't. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's see if your... Your mind slaver gets the job done. The slaver of minds. He can memoricide ourselves. What does that do? I don't know. What could it do? He can name Bitter Blossom and take our Bitter Blossom. I don't know if that works the way you think it works. He can also tap our Besaidu and make us deal. Like, take Might damage. still be able to do something about this, not sure yet, but I will try. Well, I hope you can't. No offense to you, Den112. We shall see. I, I assume you get a power plant. If he has Karn, that can take care of an Emrakul. It's not a colored thing. You're right. All right, so power plants out. We know you have Col Condescend, Simulacrum, and Mind Slaver, and three other cards. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's gonna Mind Slaver, I imagine. Activate Mind Slaver. Steal our turn. If um, if uh, the magic rule said that we're allowed to attack ourselves, he could attack us. Oh, it'd be, it'd be, oh. And we would sacrifice all. No, of that doesn't permits. do anything actually. I was like, oh, he's going to draw a Crypto Command and bounce our Emrakul, but that's not how that works. No, it's not. Um, but he's definitely going to try. He's probably going to bounce one of our own permanents or something and tap our guys. What does that do, though? We still attack him next turn. Well, I think he's trying to figure that out. He's currently trying to target the Emrakul, and he's like, why can't I just target this Emrakul? Oh, why? I wonder if he is. He's like, how come this is not a legal target? That guy's got protection from colored spells. That's racist, but what can you do? Magic's pretty racist if you think about it. It really is. All right, so I, I I have to wonder what's happening right now. Well, he's just trying to. He's like actually like reading the rules right now, but why he can't target the thing? Like he thinks Magic Online's bugged right now. Do you remember the time we got into that 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 dude was arguing with us in the comment section because he was like, "Uh, Emrakul doesn't fly." And we're like, yeah, he does. And he's like, uh, no, it doesn't, actually. And we're like, dude, just read the card, man. <laughs> it says it right on it. And he's like, oh, you're right. Someone told me that it didn't fly, so I just believe them. And oh, I'm so like, wow. All right, he's gonna, all right, he figured out he couldn't do it. He finally, like, There's realized not got two that blue the in there now. Online wasn't bugged. So he's going to memoricide us naming Cryptic Command. 
and take our cryptic commands. Like that's not that great. I got an Emrakul on board. Choo choo! If for some reason he manages to get another turn, he could Mindslaver lock us with, like, Academy Runes. But that can't be countered. You're right. It targeted myself. I wonder what he's naming. Well, we did give him some information that we have two Emrakuls, so maybe we'll just name Emrakul and remove all of our win conditions from our deck. <laughs> I guess that's a thing he could do. Waiting for Frank Lepore to choose a card name for Frank Lepore. Wow. Wow, Magic Online. Could you be any weirder? Like, and like, someone wrote this. A human being wrote this and was like, this is sufficient text to see what's going on here. You're right. And why is this F lowercase? I don't understand. What's going on? That's not me. I'm not doing that. Hacks! Alright, see you later, Cryptic Commands. And he probably won't have us play a land, unfortunately. Man, that's not even nice. But I'll have less cards in my hand if I do that. Alright, let's see what you got. I mean, in order to Mind Saver lock us, though, he has to actually have a draw step. And an Academy Ruins. So... No, like, he still needs... He needs Academy Ruins and another land. So, like, he needs another turn. Well, he's going to need another turn just because he needs to draw it. He needs to put he puts it on top and then he has to draw it. Oh, yeah. That's, so that's another good that's, point. That's the other turn. So, oh, oh. Okay, well. Well, that's sad. Well, there it is. And that is how we can lose this game. Well, he hasn't won yet. Maybe he'll put a fate counter on it instead. Maybe Emrakul has Indestructible like his brother Ulamog. Why can't he just be more like his brother? Why can't you be more like your brother Uli? So now we have a Bitter Blossom that we can't actually cast, but we can cast Memoricide. Do we know what's in his hand still? This we know he has Condescend and Solemn Simulacrum. Hmm. What do you think we name here? Maybe, uh... Worm Coil Engine? It could be Worm Coil Engine, but, like, if you name Condescend, then then the Bitter Blossom, like, guarantee resolves, and maybe we can win with that. You're, you might, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know, like... I'm pretty sure if he just named Polymorph instead of Cryptic Command, like, we probably couldn't win. Well, um, I mean... Naming the Cryptic Command got it out of our hand. Which but that's like, what, good. so we discard a card, but like... So what do you think it is? Worm Coil? Or... Well, he doesn't have a Worm Coil, and we can block it all day if we if we resolve the Bitter Blossom, so I actually do like the Condescend plan. Okay. And we can see what he has in hand. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Simulacrum, Oboro, Island. Alright, so this game's gonna actually take a really long time to win, but... We do have a creeping tar pit. That yeah, I think we're with. fine. All right, nice rip. He said. But well, also he has a lot of really nice top decks too. He like his top decks are probably way better than ours. Maybe, but he also has a lot of dead cards like Expedition Map. Yep, and the deck does play a lot of lands too. Oh no! I guess you could just. I. Nice rip. I mean, we can't even really draw Polymorph here because we don't have enough mana to, like, sack a dude. So we're going to have to take at least one hit from whatever he draws. Presumably it's going to be a Worm Coil Engine. I guess I can shrink this down a little bit. Bleep. No idea what to do. Just get a win condition. How was that bad? Just get a worm coil, man. You know what my one card is. I know, that's what I was thinking. I'm not even sure we can still win if he gets the worm coil because, like you said, he just sacks it and gets two three threes. Yeah, we can block one. No, we can't. Hmm. But then we, we still, I mean, we're at 14 right now. The difference was we were at actual 6 that game. Yep. Yeah. 
This is not that hard. At least I don't think so. I don't know. You just get like get the Emrakul. Or not the Emrakul, the Worm Coil. And you even have 10, so you can Mind Slaver us. That doesn't do anything. We have no detrimental... Uh, you, there's no detrimental choices that you can make here. He can make us take two damage. That's it, yeah. One, two... Just play a land, play Simulacrum, and play Worm Coil. Like, that's an insane amount of pressure. It is, actually. I have no idea what the hold of is here. Had to have the O-Stone. And it's funny, because like, we'll look at his hand, and then he'll draw it in like a two-turn window, you know? I don't even think Wormcoil is aggro. That's like a completely reasonable thing to, to grab. Yeah, like... Crazy. Yep. So we need an island in hand, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea why that... I mean, I take eight, so... Of course. Oh, actually, what am I? Um, I mean, theoretically, if we draw Polymorph, we can play it next turn. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. At least we know your hand. But I still think we're, like, pretty dead. Fabricate was the perfect card to draw. Yes, it was. Or a, a worm coil would have been pretty good, too. Yeah. But I think he has, like, two. Yeah, that's just <laughs> ridiculously game. Yep. Yeah, that actually right. kills us, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Laughable. All right, what are you going to do? 